Hey, 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 it's Dr. Minky Quill, and I'm here with a junk journal process video for you today. It's been a little while since I've had a video. I've been a bit busy with Bub, and I haven't been able to catch up, but I'm back, and I'm ready as ever. So this is a junk journal that I made. I'm actually teaching a in-person class um, in July about how to make these, and if you'd like me to turn it into a online class, let me know, because I'm thinking of doing so. So it's just a junk journal. It's If you haven't heard of a junk journal before, it's just an art journal made of junky papers, I guess, um, instead of your average, you know, good mixed media paper. And I use this just to kind of have a play and um, use photos that I have that are extras or that are rejects that have had a like a printing malfunction um, or duplicates. It's just a nice easy way to get them used. So this is a photo of my hubby and I and we were at a friend's wedding um, down in Sydney. You can see the Harbour Bridge in the background. They got married in this beautiful spot overlooking um, the Harbour Bridge. It's called Observatory Hill, I think it is, um, or Observatory Point, one or the other. But from the name of it, you can tell it's pretty high up. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm using some clear gesso. And in a previous video, someone asked why I use clear or white, depending on when I use them. Um, for this one, I wanted to use clear because I wanted that book paper to still be shown through at this point. Um, I'm using my Use It Up journal here, which you also will see videos on this channel about. Um, it's just an extra art journal that I have that I use as a paint palette and I use to clean off brushes and stencils and it kind of makes the backgrounds for my next page without really putting in a lot of effort. <laughs> so I'm just mixing together some colours to try and get like a corally peachy kind of tone. Um, and I'm using Dina Wakely paints. There's not many in the collection, so if you want to know the colours, they're pretty easy to figure out which ones I'm using. Um, I'm painting over, this was a retirement village flyer that I got in my mailbox that I, I kept because it was a nice thick cardstock. Does anyone else do that when you get junk mail? Do you, do you just look at the junk mail and go, ooh, nice texture, nice consistency, nice thickness? <laughs> I do, or am I the only lame one? <laughs> so, I'm kind of just splatting the paint wherever I can, just plonking a bit of gold down here. Um, and then I think I do a darker pink tone maybe as well, maybe not. Now I'm using, oh, this is the dark one. So I'm using the Dilutions and I'm just grabbing a stencil and these Tim Holtz, I think they're called like ink daubers or something. Um, and I'm just doing this pattern. I don't know where this stencil's from, sorry, but it's just a basic plus sign one. And then I'm doing the same in my Use It Up journal just to get that paint off that dobber because it's on there. I might as well use it up. Um, now, if you haven't heard over, if you're not a subscriber to my main channel, Inky Quill, this is my second channel. Um, I have started a Patreon, which is very exciting. I'll put all of the details down below. Um, so I'll be doing seven extra videos a month over there. There'll be art journal prints every month. There'll be project life card prints every month. There'll be extra printables every month. Um, this month you've got some journal prompts and some a collage page and there's an art journal process video. There's all sorts of videos going on over there. So if you'd like to support me over there, I'll put all the info in the description box below. Um, everyone who supports me over there, it's really helping me not go back to work next year. Um, at the moment I'm on, well, I'm not technically on maternity leave because my contract ended last year when I would have gone on maternity leave. Um, but if I can make a creative endeavor of Inky Quill, uh, that means I don't have to go back to full-time teaching next year. And if I do have to go back to full-time teaching next year, my YouTube videos will dry up because I won't have time at all juggling that and a baby. Um, but if I can... If I cannot go back to full-time teaching, then I'll still keep up my YouTube videos and my Patreon and I think everyone will be happy. <laughs> so I'm just adding that stencil there. I have a feeling, is it a Julie Faith Van Bolzer? I love saying her name, 
It could be hers. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I can't imagine there's many city um, ones out there. So the thing I like about it is that it gives you the background up the top there and then it gives you the detail. So the white that I just put through there was just regular modeling paste. And I really, really love the way it looked. I hadn't used that stencil before, so I'm definitely going to be giving that a try again, um, especially with the modeling paste. I feel like it, it made it very 3D-ish kind of thing. So I just added a few of those larger embellishments. I said this over on my Inky Quill channel. I'm sick and tired of large embellishments. I'm finding them really difficult to scrapbook with. So a lot of the time I actually do put them in my art journal supplies because they're easier to use for kind of layering and to tear up and they're just driving me a bit bonkers the way that companies are making them bigger and bigger and bigger. So these little circle ones I actually made in a process video. I think it's called To Me Adventures over on Inky Quill. Um, and I show you how I made these little embellishments myself. And I'm just adding three of them over here. Three is a good number. Things always seem to look nice in threes. Um, so I usually go for that. And it's my favorite number as well. So then I, I do kind of stuff this up slightly, but I'm working with it. I'm, I'm going with the flow. Um, I do write a quote on here and I used the wrong writing writing tool thing. Um, I used this Jane Davenport ink pen and I just, I did something, yeah, I had to go over this love and it looks okay from far away, but it doesn't look good close up. And then I clogged the end of the nib um, and I just, I should have just used a paint pen, what I was used to, but I thought I'd try something different and I didn't like it, but that's all, that's the part of experimenting that, you know, is out of everyone's comfort zone. You got to try things that you don't usually like, and then you can see if you do like them. And if you don't, then just don't use them again or try, give it a little break and then try them again. So I don't have too much else to do this. I don't think. I know I do some splatters and I know I think I do a doodly border um, but like I said this junk journal I'm really enjoying working in it as opposed to a full-sized manufactured art journal um, just because it is made out of scraps like you know things that typically would be in the bin um, I don't feel that pressure to make everything so perfect uh, which is a nice feeling when when you just want to sit down and create and you don't want to get stuck on making everything just right. So that little love is cut out from a magazine and I've got lots of tiny word sticker sheets that I'm trying to use up because I'm, I'm a little bit naughty and I sometimes when I've got a sheet that I've used up all of my favorite um, words from it or phrases, I often will go and open a new one instead of using up what's already there so a lot of the time I do chuck these ones that not all of these but some of them are half used uh, I do chuck them in my art journaling supplies because it's a lot easier to make them work with that kind of thing adding some hearty shine check 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 your hearty shine check your hearty shine um, and also I forgot to add, I've just recently done a live stream over on my main channel, Inky Quill. So if that's something that you like, you might want to subscribe over there because that's where I do all my live streams. Um, I always try to make sure that I do, um, a couple of project life pages, some scrapbook layouts, as well as art journal pages too. So head over there and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'm all done. So like I said, this junk journal is just a bit of fun. Um, it's a bit of time to get messy and kind of slap things together that I usually wouldn't put together. Um, and I will do a flip through when this is eventually done, but I've still got lots and lots of pages to fill. So thanks everyone for watching. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching some artiness and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.